Okay, so this is the first part of my tutorial for my 5x5 piston door. Um, in this first video, I will show you how I made this uh, three top row controlling system. Um, I think the most people are interested in this piston row in here, how I control it. So, let's have a closer look at it. Um, I've re recreated the piston stuff in here without the logic. Um, I rec well, let's quickly jump to the part where. I pull up the middle row, so this situation. Um, the secret is here a bug switch. Really simple. So here we have a bug switch. As soon as I update this piston, it will extend. And I update it with another piston. And voila, it's extended. To retract, just update it again. Ready. And it is up. Nothing special. Really easy. So let's make a complete closing and opening. So. Uh, I used the second butt in here because um, I wasn't able to do the wiring directly, so I reused the butt system. Then it's down. And to get it up, ah, wait, so. So. Oh no. This row. Um, you didn't have to lower this row, but I think it look it looks cleaner. It's I think it's better. Well, and again the last row. Yeah. And at the logic above, I have, of course, posers which can uh, do stuff real quickly, real quick. So that's how I uh, made the top rows. Um, you can see you can easily expand it in the horizontal line. Uh, to control it, I use poses, therefore I have two flip-flops and uh, normal poses, so I send poses in, but I also have poses over here for the two flip-flops and standalone poses here, just to uh, be sure that the pose is correct. Um, for testing and manually setting it, I have buttons here, and the rest of the blue stuff is my version of a sequencer. I've tried different designs, but this is still the smallest and most reliable I was able to make. Maybe because my computer is too slow for bigger systems. Um, at the moment, it has a delay of 8 ticks between each instruction, and I need 32 instructions to lift the gate up. That's why it's so slow, but uh, smaller delays didn't work, they messed the system up completely. To get them to get it down I just need six instructions, that's a lot faster. But I'm happy with it and I will stay with it until someone uh, can give me really small, compact, reliable, precise sequencer which I can use instead of my old design. 
Because there's a bug switch. So there's a bug system. That's all secret. Thanks for watching. Oh, um, of course, I will do another video for, or at least one video for the top rows here if you're interested. But yeah, that's really all for today. Thanks for watching.